At the be very beginning of World War II, I was in second grade, I guess, and they would have a scrap metal drive, and the scrap metal, the old bikes and buggies and anything of metal would be piled up in the corner of the schoolyard. Everybody would bring anything you had and throw on the pile. And then the handsome young soldiers would come in their jeeps and drive up and say, yay, and that was always exciting. And paper drives, that was a big thing, bringing all, gathering the papers from the neighborhood and bringing them to school. And they went into a big bin thing or something. And we would have to go around and collect jars of grease. All the mothers saved any cooked grease from your bacon or anything in a can. Then you could turn it into the butcher and you got some um, ration coupons for the grease towards meat. So we used the, the grease to get the coupons to get our hot dogs for our wiener roast. On a one certain day, my mom's group would volunteer at this little old hotel that really wasn't a hotel anymore, but it had the kitchen in the area. And I don't know where the local army guys came from, but they would bring bacon that we couldn't get in the market, and the ladies would cook it for them, cook them bacon and eggs or whatever they'd like, was the idea of the kitchen and come hang out there. And we'd stop by there and see her and then go on to the library. And that was fun. Every week, the teacher in your class would collect a quarter or whatever, and you would get like a postage stamp you put in your book. And when the book was full, you got a savings bond. You got them for $19 and they matured for $25, and I had several savings bonds. That's how we got our first car, in fact, it was with my savings bonds. When it was over, we had butter. We could buy bacon. We always cut our bacon in half to have a whole strip of bacon. Um, the gas wasn't rationed.